Welcome to Rock and Roll Artist. I'm Dan Kubat, the Rock and Roll Artist. I have a website called artbydano.com. But today, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna do something OG, or oh, the original OG OGs, which is for these uh, gangsters. This is an illustration of Bonnie and Clyde. And what I did here, I did a saturated palette so it looks more like the 30s, Depression era 30s, you know. So how I, this is basically a Prismacolor illustration an illustration board where I just did washes of paint of acrylics to get the mid-tones. What I mean by that, the mid-tone is like the gray of his uh, of his Armani suit there that he robbed. She, I knew you'd ever rob a place, you faker. I tip my hat to Bonnie and Clyde and I tip my hat to a good rye whiskey. My favorite whiskey, Crown Royal, helps to get the creative juices flowing, especially for a Prohibition era painting. Cheers. All right, let's do some work on Bonnie. Bonnie was a, well, she was a good looking gal when Faye Dunaway played her. I don't know about the real Bonnie. She was a, uh, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna go back into the structure of her face. And Faye has high cheekbones. She has a very angular structured face. She's a beautiful woman, but also very, cold looking which was perfect for the character as many of her characters were so i'm going to go in there and again build on where the light is hitting which would be here on her forehead and here on her cheekbones on the cheeks and then on the chin here and she's got a very uh, strong strong chin but still very feminine chin and that's she gets those those strong looks from. But when I do this again, I'm working on the uh, the form. You gotta paint on the forms. What I mean by that is the dimension. To put the dimension in the face, I gotta put that white, the top of the cheek here, the forehead, and the top of the chin where the light's hitting. And it works well the shadows here and the mid tones. And that's how you construct the depth, the depth in the face. I love the fashion of this era. The fedora hats, the pinstripe gangster suits. It just, what can I say? It has some style, some, some snaz to it. So what I'm gonna be doing now is, is hitting the highlights on the hat, the brim, and the tip of his nose. Now do it like this. This is where the light hits, and it hits here on the brim. I mean, the band of the hat and on the brim. And all I'm doing there is, is creating dimension. These, those are the closest things to that you see to cam or to your eye, so I gotta bring them out. And this, really what I'm doing, it's like sculpture on two dimensions. Did I just say that? I said that twice. It must be the Crown Royal. And here I go again, a little bit more on the cigarette here. Not too much, just enough, just to hit it enough that it gives it that little bit of character. And also here, give his little, Sneer just a little bit more punch right there and I'll work back into it You know with the the shadow colors and then pull it out. It's back and forth back and forth before it's just right I'm gonna start working on Bonnie's wardrobe again wherever the light is hitting which is the uh, top of her blouse here I'm gonna build it up lighten it up brush strokes there And I'm gonna move forward to her hips and again I'm gonna accentuate her hips by making a light hit there that brings more volume more shape to her shapely hips this particular painting is, is more of an illustration and what I did here I took Prismacolor and I did a Prismacolor drawing on illustration board this was a technique and a look a 40s and 50s illustration particularly advertising agency uh, magazine illustration and, and it really works for this era because you have this saturated palette what i mean all the colors except for the red sky the vibrant red sky are saturated they're just washes they're just tones of gray with warms like the red there and the tones of gray and blue you can get this nice kind of a gangstery 30s looking artwork and uh there you have it well, thank you for indulging me with this rock and roll artist video clip of my gangster era painting. Actually, my OG OG gangster era clip. Anyway, I'm gonna have prints of the Bonnie Clyde painting. 
Available on my website, artbydeno.com. The prints look like this. They come on a nice glossy paper. They're 11 by 17. And I personally sign and autograph everyone for you. They're $20 on the website. Just imagine this image in this format. And you can order as many as you like. And uh, of course, the Chiglay, the limited edition canvas Chiglay gallery apps will be also available on the website. I got just one more thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the twinkle and fries on. Uh, just get a little bit of white on my brush and a little drink of my whiskey and here we go. This town there. Is an all right Cheers. Town.